Hey Pisces, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to your mid-month reading. I'm going to do something a little bit different. It'll be an 11-11 reading. I'm doing an 11-11 challenge. I want to see if I can do this in 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Let's see. Let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Pisces Collective need to know? How can they work their light? We have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. And then we have trust your path. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? There's a need to break away from the pack pretty much and trust that you're being that you're breaking away for a reason. Now, I love this fun loving energy. I am introducing a new deck that is the Tarot Bot deck. Okay, uh, speaking of fun and games and all that, it's like a robot theme deck. I think it's pretty cool. So let's get started. Let me know if you like it. All right, what else is going on with the Pisces energy? We have the magician coming out in reverse. Okay, let me tell you something, Pisces. If you're dealing with the same person again, <laughs> so we have the magician coming out with the Ten of Cups energy in reverse, along with the Ace of Coins. All right, this is like lack of emotional fulfillment. This could be someone who might be manipulating. If you're still dealing with this manipulator, I'm 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 about to end this reading right here. All right. What else is going on, Pisces? All right, there's some soul searching that needs to be done. We have the five of cups coming out. Oh, let me show you these cards. I'm sorry. The magician, ten of cups. Okay, along with the Ace of Coins. So there's a new window of opportunity that's going to open up as you take a step in. Okay, some of you guys still need to do some healing. You need to step within. You need to withdraw from society, withdraw from the world, withdraw from trying to date. You know, if you find yourself on these dating apps or social media apps and you, you're entertaining people, there's for some of you guys, you need to stop. All right. You're the Five of Cups here, crying over spilled milk along with the Two of Wands. There's, yeah, there's a need to face this regret remorse some of you guys haven't done the healing yet some of you guys have it's a split energy right now with the pisces collective so you figure out where you are it's not going to resonate for everyone but someone some of you guys are not in your powers of yet still okay you're still dealing with things that are not giving you equal reciprocity you're still entertaining certain things um for, for whatever reason we have the moon coming out with the knight of wands it's like uh, some of you guys may secretly still be holding on to this energy that is no longer serving you. All right, but we do have the nine of coins at the bottom of the deck. So you are progressing. It's just a slow process. Okay. It's a slow build. This is a slow build here. That's fine. Let's look into that magician card. Okay. So some of you guys, if you already moved on from the situation, we're moved on from this person that was no longer, um, that didn't give you equal reciprocity, the relationship that was just pretty crappy. Their energy might still be in your space. Their en they still might be in your energy, all right? You still, if you're still hanging on to some type of guilt or shame or remorse about the situation, that is actually holding you back, all right? So it's stopping your happiness. So just keep that in mind. Why is this magician card here? Oh, God. All right. If this person keeps coming in and out of your life, or if you're allowing their thoughts, like thoughts about them, if you're going back and forth about this person still, like, please crack the whip on that. It's over. Please stop. Okay. Um, you might realize that you cared more, you know? Yeah. So this is going to be for these, these past Pisces readings have been for the ones who haven't quite yet done the healing as of yet. Okay. Who probably tried to override the healing process. So some of you guys are realizing how much healing needs to be done, all right? For some of you guys, you're realizing how much of a burden this is because you didn't face the healing. You're realizing how attached you were, how much of an effect it's having on you, how much it's affecting your happiness. It's time to take a closer look at your happiness. Well, speaking of that, magnifying glass, look at the thing that makes you happy. All right. It seems like there's a, a skewed perception of like this person or this this thing is it's someone. It's a person. Um, it's a relationship that was crappy. OK, and you have a skewed perception of it. You're not quite realizing how unequal and how unbalanced, imbalanced it was, because if, if you did completely get it, like some of you guys see it. 
logically, but you're, it didn't click yet. Once it clicks, you'll be able to release the energy. But right now, because you're still kind of, oh, maybe they'll come around, you know, that hope. You have to let go of the hope of this person right now, okay? Like now, like, it's time to let it go, all right? This is loyalty and commitment. Loyalty and commitment to something that is not giving you equal reciprocity. Pisces, what's up? What are we doing here? Moon card. What's going on? This could be the relationship. <clears throat> this could be the relationship. It could be, um, you know, family, whatever. But your intuitive guidance is strong AF, okay? It's strong AF. And we have the moon card with the, the mountain here. Like, you're trying to block your intuition. Your intuition is telling you just... Do the work. Like, you're not trying... Some of you guys are not trying to deal with this at all. But now you're realizing that it's holding you back more than you thought. Some of you guys, you might have continued dating, trying to override the healing process of this crappy relationship. All right? And then you decided to date someone else and realize, oh, I'm still triggered. Oh, I still have emotional baggage. Okay? And you didn't try to do the healing. So now, now you're realizing how deep the rabbit hole goes. All right, well, that's great. If you guys come to that realization, amazing. Just learn how to move forward. Do the healing that you need to do here. Step within. Take some time out. Some of you guys need to withdraw. From social media, from dating, if you're dating, you know, like, you guys went through a lot, man. All right? All right, let's see what the blockage is. The new moon and cancer energy will be up. We're still in a cycle of going into denial land as an, um, versus going into your upgrade. All right, so this Pisces Collective is definitely split. Some are going into denial land and some are going into their upgrade. You choose. All right, I said that last time. You choose. All right. What's the blockage for Pisces? <clears throat> Moving forward. And taking a pro I mean, this is going to be a slow healing process with the Knight of Coins here. This is the slowest moving um night of the deck okay this is someone who is methodical and strategic thorough in their process you're not overriding your healing you're taking your time you're you're stepping in you're journaling you're meditating you're really doing the spiritual work it's time to do the work okay too many cards but all right ten of wands knight of wands and yeah you're still carrying this burden and you're trying to you're trying to move forward with your dating life with all holding all this baggage that's what's happening here it's time to put an end. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, in reverse. It's time to slow the F down. This is both coming out. These are two fast nights. Slow it down. It's time to slow down. You're trying to rush in into something else. Some of you guys are trying to rush into something else after dealing with like a major crazy heartbreak. Like, slow it down, please. And you know some of you guys are trying to rush into something else because you don't want to face your own healing. You can't date with this energy. This is emotional baggage from the past. And you're about to bring all this. You're about to be bag lady, Erica Badu. All right? You don't want to be the bag lady stepping into this new cycle or a new relationship carrying all this extra stuff. Come on now. That's not fair to anyone. It's not fair to yourself neither because carrying all that, you wouldn't even have the capacity to really experience the love that you could have. F face this. Face it, okay? Slow it down. You don't have to jump into anything else. Face the fact that, yes, there's some deep emotional wounds that need to be tended to. Take a break, right? Take a break. It's time to take a break here. Slow it down. Some of you guys might be burying yourself in work. All right. What are they failing to see? We're at nine minutes. Three of coins. Your intuition is there trying to help you. It's trying to help you navigate this energy. Right now, you don't want to face it. You don't even know where to start emotionally. You're just like, how do I even tackle this? Like, I'm so hurt. How do I how do I heal from this? Can I heal from it? Yes, you can. But right now, as I mentioned with that new moon and cancer reading, right now you have to speak the language of spirit. You can't do it mentally. You can't try to outwit the universe. You can't sit here and say, okay, well, the best way to get over one person is to get with a new person. You know, that human logic is not going to work here. Right now, you have to speak the, the language of magic. All right? Co-create with the universe. Cooperate with your spirit here. They're trying to help you navigate this past energy that's still affecting you. You don't want to face it, but it's time to. 
don't be mad at yourself because you're still carrying on carrying that baggage. Be mad at yourself if you don't face it. All right. Be mad at yourself if you take that energy into another relationship and repeat the same cycle again. That's when you can be mad at yourself. But don't be mad at yourself for being in pain. You're human. Yes, it, it happened. You, you're feeling the, the pain. Now it's being wise enough to know how to face the pain and then move forward, okay? Speaking of moving forward, Eight of Cups. Coming out of this Six of Cups energy, moving on with this Eight of Cups energy, dropping this, dropping the past and moving on to something better, all right? The universe is trying to show you exactly how to do this in a healthy way because some of you guys are trying to override your healing and you're not moving on in a healthy way. What's that advice? Strength. You have the strength to do it. Please do. You have the card. Yes. Strength card with the devil card in reverse. You're trying to control things. You're trying to control fate a little bit here. And it's just like, it's not, it's becoming toxic. If you guys haven't done the healing, you're going to put yourself in denial land. You're going to put yourself in a very toxic, another toxic loop. Do you want to be in a different, in another toxic loop or no? Please do the healing. You have the strength to do it. Pray for the courage to do it. Set a new moon intention to have the courage to do it, okay? All right, well, past 11-11, but whatever. Hang hey, man, things are going to be on pause until you slow down. You have to slow down. You have to take a break. All right, if you haven't done the healing yet, like I said, there's a split energy here. So if you haven't done the healing yet, yeah, you're going to have to slow the F down, okay? Because right now you're doing yourself a disservice and you're probably doing more damage than you realize. Let's see what the power animal is. Okay, if I can get the cards. There we go. All right, what is the power animal for Pisces for the rest of this month? Including this new moon energy. Check out the new moon in Cancer reading. It is talking about speaking the language of magic. That's what we need to do. We can't figure things out in our human capacity right now. Look at that. We can't figure things out in our human capacity right now. Like, right now, there's so many things that's hidden. There's so many illusions right now. You might be feeling trapped. Not knowing how to deal with this healing. Not knowing how to take this deep dive, Swan Spirit. It's time for a deep dive. It's time to do the heavy emotional work. You're realizing that there's some deep emotional wounds and deep emotional burdens and barriers that you need and baggage that needs to be addressed here. Okay? Do that. All right. And but be compassionate with yourself. Obviously, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Take your time. Take your time. OK, be compassionate with yourself. Slow and steady. That knight of pentacles energy. Be thorough. Really dive in. Dig deep. Hey, I mean, it might not just be relationship issues, the past relationship issue, right? You might see like, okay, now I have some childhood wounds, inner wounds um, that I have to work on. It might be with this cancer energy, it could very well come back to, you know, inner child work, okay? Things from your childhood that you might have to face. Doing that work, you're strong enough to do it and you will be stronger for it. It is meant for you to lay a solid foundation by doing this thorough, deep dive into your emotional space. All right, that's what needs to happen here, all right? All right, Pisces. Do it, go for it. If, you are, if you're on the side of Pisces that have been doing the work, kudos to you, keep going, okay? If you haven't yet, it's not too late. Please make the decision to go on the right path, okay? It's a split here. Be the right, uh, do what you, do what's best, okay? Do what's best for you. I'm praying that you have the courage to do so. Take a break, slow it down. If you don't need to date anymore, just stop dating for a little bit, okay? You know who you are. Um, I'm praying for your healing, Pisces. I, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG, Tower and Heal. Also, I do personal readings. Check out the info box below. And until we meet again, please check out the new moon in Cancer reading. It should be popping up now, all right? Until we meet again, peace.